Hello everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today I'm bringing you guys some Total War Warhammer. This game just came out on Steam, and it is basically based off of Warhammer 40k, and it has it's made by Total War, so it's the Total War play style. So so far in the game, there's five factions: the Empire, Dwarves, Greenskins, Vampire Count, and Warriors of Chaos. So the Empire. Um, the Empire is basically the standard, you know, they're the good people, they kind of, they're just humans, and they kind of are a little normal. Let's see, so, basically their mechanics is they can take out and have only other human territories, and can take out the vampire count, but nothing else. Um, also, lords may be just randomly appointed with unique, like, titles and stuff, and they have a lot of... Um, their technology is a lot about like buildings and stuff. Their top units though are Lamech of Hish. I can't say these. Um, they're magic chariots that just shoot things basically slowly. Um, Demigraph knights, which are basically knights that are just riding eagles, which are or hawks. It's some big bird basically. They're pretty badass. They're very very good. Um, and then they have steam tanks, which are um, tanks and pretty over not overpowered they're just one tank i'm pretty sure and they're pretty good uh their play style is basically very diplomatic uh they're very balanced uh they have a lot of enemies a lot of people don't like the empire and that is pretty much it i mean they're just pretty standard and as you guys can see it shows you a little bit of the empire ruling past so then we can move on to the dwarves so the dwarves challenge is easy uh, the dwarves are a little unique, but just like dwarves are in pretty much everything. Um, they can only take out the green skins and other dwarf factions. Uh, to actually beat the game, they have certain grudge missions that you have to do, basically just like grudges between dwarves. And um, also to avoid like unpassable terrain and enemy territories, they have underground tunnels that you can use, which is pretty cool. So their top units are gyrocopters, which are just helicopters that shoot, are pretty cool. Uh, slayers, which just are pretty much just badass, like, anti-everything people. And uh, land drakes, which are just, um, I, why did I say land drakes? Iron drakes, which are just uh, guys with flamethrowers, basically. Pretty good against infantry. Um, so they have very small units, and... They have a lot of trade, obviously, because they're dwarves and they have a lot of stuff to trade. Uh, they're resistant against magic, but they have no magic. They have a lot of uh, range and artillery, which is one of their main things. Uh, they're very small units, though. and But the thing about it is they're very small, but they are very, you know, brotherly. And as dwarves are, they're very strong fighting. They won't give up. They'll keep on fighting to the end. And they're very good fighters, the other downfall to it is they have no cavalry, they're a little bit small for cavalry, and uh, they're expensive, and it's hard to keep them up. Uh, but they don't have cavalry, but they have gyrocopters, which, I mean, debatable, kind of the same thing, except ones in the air. Okay, so next up is the greenskins, which are basically orcs. Uh, they can only capture dwarf and other greenskins. I'll try to get through this pretty fast. Um... They pretty much just have a whole bunch of troops. They're treat. They're cheap. Um, they have bad trade. Well, actually, I don't think they can. No, they can't trade. They're limited to economy. They have a pretty bad economy in the first place. They're not very like brotherhood like. Uh, they'll give up easily. They don't have a good leadership. So they're just a big, basically Zerg sort of army that just has tons of troops. And their top troops are giants, uh, Doom Diver catapults, which. Um, basically just guided missiles, uh, and a spider, an arc spider, which is uh, pretty badass. Oh, there's a giant right there. So they're pretty good. They're a normal challenge. Okay, so next is the Vampire Count, which they have a very interesting mechanic to them, uh, but I'll get to that in just a second. So they could take out other Vampire Counts and human factions. The unique thing that I was just saying is basically they can raise the dead during the battle and have basically more troops. And their whole focus of their army is the undead, which is pretty cool. 
and also their big troops are vampires. So their main guys are Tarogus, I can't say that. Uh, they're base. It's a flying monster, and then it's a another. Oh no, and then a Vargulf, which is just a monster on ground, and then hex hex wraiths, which are just cavalry that are um, pretty good. Um, they're very strong against basically very strong use of magic and they cause a lot of fear and stuff obviously raising the dead is pretty fearful um they're very good at routing enemies they have no missile units though which is not very good they just have big ass motherfuckers to like knock down a whole bunch of shit and their play style is hard as is uh, normal as well so last but not least is the warriors of chaos and if you guys know attila basically it's like playing attila the hunt they do not have anywhere to settle they're just a roaming. They can loot, sack, and everything for economy. They are hated by all, cannot trade. They have very limited missile units, and um, they have a lot of armored infantry and monsters. Um, they're horde, obviously, and they cause chaos. So pretty much no one likes you. Uh, they have chaos giants. Uh, hell cannons, which are good for sieges, because obviously you're going to need a siege to get money and stuff. And chosen, which are very, very good infantry units. Oh, look at that guy. He's pretty badass, and he's not even a special unit. So, these three units that they're showing are just their top units, but they have a whole bunch of other special units that are very, very good. So, what... <laughs> I kind of want to play Warriors of Chaos. I feel like it's a hard... Um, it's a hard challenge, but... I think we may be able to do it. Or, like, the dwarves. I don't know. I feel like these are all just pretty, like, standard. Like, this is what you get in every one. I mean, Attila had this, too, but it's kind of fun. So, I think what we'll do is we'll play as Warriors of Chaos for right now. And in the description, if you guys want me to play as someone else, I would like you to let me know. And I will change, because we're not really going to get too far into it. And the playing as the Warriors of Chaos in the beginning will be good because it'll kind of get to show you some action right away. Um, so, you start with Chaos Warriors, uh, Chaos Warrior Hair Blurries, and Chosen uh, Great Weapon. Okay. We're going to play in normal for right now. Uh, that's pretty much. And it's got. Oh, so you can choose your faction leader too. No, I wouldn't think it would be that guy. I think we'd go with that guy. Uh, yeah, so... Okay, let's go. This guy, and... Yeah. The let's watch the intro here. world is weak. The mortal nations flounder in their own incessant and petty wars. Ignorant of what truly awaits in the north. I come before the mighty Archaeon as a mere minion. For now, at least, the gods' favored champion chooses to hear my advice. I pray to the dark powers that I do not fail him. Despite such a risk, I urge my master that now is the time to march south. The Northmen grow restless, and he must harness that and send the tribes in a great tide southwards to flood the old world. Archaon himself, chosen of the gods, will lead the hordes of chaos as we despoil the lands of men and dwarfs. No soul, no matter how blackened or pure, shall see salvation. Alright there, that was the little intro of it. <coughs> pretty good, the game looks pretty beautiful. So let's see how it looks when we get into the map here. So I think when I do start the series, what will be basically an ep episode of this, of um, Total War Warhammer, I will probably not be playing as the Chaos. I might be, but I'll probably play as a faction. I'm going to go through basically and see 
you know, pretty much check out everyone's troops, see what they have, and see what I would really kind of want to play as. I don't know if I want to play as the Empire. I mean, they're kind of cool, but they're they're kind of normal. I would. I feel like I kind of want to play like as something else, as like either the dwarves or like something different, like maybe the Vampire Court. I don't know how I feel about the orcs either. Um, but these guys seem pretty badass and seem like they just want to go there and pretty much just fuck shit up. And I'm excited to also see the map that they've made here. Uh, I used to always, when I did like Warhammer and stuff, used to be more into the Space Marines and stuff. But I did like the Empire as well. And I do like Chaos, but uh, I never really had much of Chaos Army. I was never a big orc fan. I don't know. Something about him. I was always a big tour fan, though, so maybe I'll play. I don't know. We'll see. But definitely leave a comment in the description. Help me with this decision. You okay. are the ever chosen. The chaos gods call you to action, mighty champion. Right. Their lust for ruin must be set. <coughs> you shall go into the lands of the mortals to spread fear and destruction. The Norse tribes to the west shall fall easily before you. Find those willing to join your cause and slay the rest. So do I wonder if I have Further any to territory. The south lie the nations of men. They will resist your advance and for good reason. You will bring them annihilation, mighty lord. Alright. Let's Devour see. Let's see if we can get into a, to bring a the battle really quickly. Gods. March forth. And spread oblivion in their name. Alright. I do know a uh part. objective uh raise or sack four different settlements. So let's kinda see Ooh. I advise you to seek ways to okay. further your no. methods of war, my lord. Faction summary put your okay. best Technology. minds to work improving your knowledge and practices. Alright, everything's basically going to be tutorial, so I think that just gives me 2,500, and then this gives me troops. Let's see how far I have to actually go to get Infernal March. Uh, okay, so it looks like the tech trees are a little bit different, so that's something to get used to. I'm sure each one of these tep... Oh, um... Uh, Okay, which one of these gives you like the question is which one of these like gives you new troops? Do any of them do? I'm guessing something. Or do I just as chaos have like troops it may just give me troops right off the bat. Like I can just diplomacy like if we look at it. Oh, that's with foreign powers may be so this seems diplomacy. to be the map. The Empire is completely far away, but Consider everyone else your is situation carefully before accepting pretty much at that. war with me. No one no one really likes me. Uh, and that looks to be, let's yeah, look what I have here. Okay, I've got a lot here. So it looks like I can recruit, uh, Chaos Warhounds, Marauder, Horsemen, and Chosen Marauders. I'm pretty sure Chaos Troops are a lot bigger than pretty much any other troop. <laughs> because, well, it's kind of how it is. Uh, oh, I forgot how to play Total War a little bit. Should I just go? I guess my objective... Oh, I can't do that right now. Your army okay. has marched all it can, my lord. <coughs> okay. So stuff's gonna go by really quickly. Okay, and then let's... This guy needs to... Harness the gifts afforded to you by the ruinous powers, and you shall be unstoppable. Um, I'm guessing I should be able to attack this. Okay, uh, let's see what this does. Let's just do that for now. Um, oh, this is my own little village, isn't it? Okay. I have my own villages. Didn't even realize that. I think. Oh no, I'm upgrading him. He gets... Okay, I see. Oh, okay. I, I see. 
I see how this works. Interesting. All right. So I'm upgrading him at the moment, which I shouldn't have done. But do I have something else to do? I'll probably choose this. Um, get another basic one, I guess, or I don't know. Why wouldn't it let me end my turn? Ah, you have to press the little check mark. Vigil on expenditure must be maintained for your domain to prosper. Alright. I see. I see how this works. Now we're going to get into a battle after this, and... Your warriors live their lives on the march, mighty lord. The hordes have no need for towns or cities. Raise I... all that you find in the name of the dark gods. Such Why? Assistance is available should you need it, my lord. Okay, well you should shut up so I can How do I like undo this? I don't understand. I'm so sorry. I don't understand how to Why wouldn't it let me move those, the question? Does it want me to do that, I'm guessing? I feel like I've done something that I shouldn't have done here. <laughs> if you have any tips or anything for me in this video as well, just let me know. Because honestly, I probably need them. Um, okay, so it looks like i got a couple more here. Um, get like a toxin warhound, I guess. I'll do that really quickly, and maybe after I do that, <coughs> it'll be happy with me, and I can go and like attack this. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. Nope. It's not letting me move, which I don't I don't understand why this is. Do I just have to like Let's see what I can do here. Distraction for Let's see if I can how do I like un go out of a, a local encampment though? I don't understand. Ah. Your army suffers in the miserable conditions they find themselves, my lord. Move them on, or more warriors will fall to the elements. Do I have to, like, declare war with them or something? It's luck. We're at war. So why can't I just like attack him? Onward to destruction. Never stop. Could you not you imbecile? Alright. <laughs> well, I don't understand how this game works apparently. It won't it won't let me attack this thing for anything. Why? My question is, why won't it let me do this? 
I don't know. What am I doing wrong here? Do is that Ah. I think I know what I have to do. Let's wait till next turn. I am so sorry about this. I don't understand. Raid the lands of the enemy, mighty lord. Send your warriors out to slaughter the peasants and burn their villages. Make the enemy fear you. Let's see. Let's see if I like just take all these guys and go to attack? No. Cannot attack in your current stance, so <laughs> Ah, okay. I see. The city has been reached and your Alright, let's fight the battle. battle. Just so we can have a little bit of fun. This is gonna be such a long video. <laughs> uh <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. It took me so long. Oh, it looks like I have a special, like, sort of beast in this. Um, and then I've got a whole bunch of dogs, which are awesome. And this guy, who's pretty cool. And these guys are just pretty normal. I do not know if I have... I, oh, I have limited range units. I like my old strategy in um, Total War, where I just had siege artillery and I'd protect it. And i just wreck people. Okay, Chosen Swallow. Unbreakable anti-infantry. Well, that doesn't seem very good against when I'm wearing... When I'm fighting let's see uh, oh no more tips I'd want it okay so <laughs> okay so these guys do not have to be in there let's see where these big guys are oh here they are yeah they're, they're pretty big um, I don't fucks with this guy either he'd probably uh, uh Okay, and these guys are my case marauders, and these are my dogs. These are my toxic dogs, okay. So let's see if I can... Mm, can't really hide them anywhere. I guess I'd put them up here. I'm about to just say, screw it, and let's just deploy it like this. Probably work out pretty fine. What is this? Oh, why did I say gamble? What does that do? Ah, oh, I think I'm gambling my, uh... Okay. Yeah. Be sure to use your mounted soldiers to full effect, Commander. Harass the enemy formation and strike at their weakest points. Okay, so these are my... So who's up here with him? Okay, so these guys... Okay, so these guys are hailbears. So those guys... I'm going to send these guys up here. Along with these guys. I'm just going to send them all up, actually, for now. Might as well. Any infantry that I run into, I'll use him. Those guys. And then these guys are just more marauders. So, I'll send these guys actually. What are these? Those are, those are all those are warriors. So, I'll send these guys over here. So, we want to use these dogs right. Basically. We want to use them, I guess, against. Alright. They're not being very aggressive. So. Let's just send. I guess we should just send like most of these guys up. Speed up time a little bit. They're not very aggravating. Like they really Oh, I guess I'm attacking them. Oh, they they sallied too, didn't they? Your troops will fire at will without orders to the contrary, Commander. 
Have them conserve their ammunition, if you so wish. But these are missile cavalry. Alright, so my objective to do with these missile cavalry is to pick off oh wait, are these missile cavalry? No, those are war beast. There's the missile cavalry. Um Pull these back. Alright. So. Charge those at these guys. Oh. Send those Your both back. Come under fire, Commander. Have them find cover or eliminate the source. Get them away, drag these guys towards them, attack them with these. There's their infantry, so I want to send these guys after that. Pull this guy's back. That's... That's a drag. Oh, where's the hail barrier? I don't want them getting attacked by these. Them I want to save for the horsemen. Them I want to uh, put over here. Yeah, okay. And then I'll throw these guys on top of that. These guys are coming over there. Get it go there with them. Okay. Send all three of them after that. You know what? Let's even get my fucking general in there. Let's do this shit. Um. Let's send the toxics ones back. And then we'll, uh. Come hit them. There we go. We got their horses with these guys. Uh, these guys can come pull back. You guys can stop following. These should come over here. Dogs are just running them down. Dogs are pretty useful just to run down troops. The enemy general is slain, my lord. Cursing okay. your name with his dying breath. Send his army after him. Alright, there we go. Well, we can end battle whenever we want, basically. But, might as well just wipe out. That's all we can. Oh, poor guy, look at this. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> murdered. Oh, there's more over here getting murdered. These dogs are pretty good. They're just killing all these troops. Oh, they catch right up to them too and just murder every single one. Underestimated them. Um, okay. Decisive victory. Did we really lose much there? Probably not. 48 compared to them. Which isn't bad. Alright. Well, that was a really quick basically introduction to the game that I was gained. Nice. Got some last, big bucks. The defenses have fallen, my lord. So the fate of those that remain is yours to determine. Hmm. We'll just raise it. Okay. Those that serve your cause gain experience over time. Oh, so it's just broken now that it's Be raised. Sure to guide their development to your advantage. So wait, what's happening here? Alright. This guy needs to recruit like troops and stuff as well. Alright. So that's been a little introduction to the game, a little explanation of all the tribes. So I'm sorry that I couldn't figure that out at the beginning, how to, like, attack 
but it's all figured out now. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this guy has explained the factions. And I do get, uh, do want you guys to leave a comment in the description saying what faction you guys want to see me play because I'm a little indecisive about it. I don't know how I feel about the chaos. I might want something different, but I want to see what you guys want, and we will figure out for the next episode and basically the first episode of this series of what we're going to play as throughout the whole campaign. So this has been Epic Eclipse, and I will see you guys in the next one.